Ybor City was named a National Historic Landmark District because it's one of the most important immigrant communities in the country. Tampa's unique in that it had two downtowns. There was the, 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 the general downtown and there was Ybor City. For the Latin community, this was not only their neighborhood, it was a haven. And, and there was everything here, their shopping, their, their, their theater, their socialization uh, and doing there. So it, that, that's a very unique part as far as how that, how that developed for Ybor City. What we have here, as I said, is a, is a small segment of our history. It wasn't for the museum and the museum society, we cannot present to our future generations what we have now. Ybor City. It's one of the most historic and unique communities in the United States. Founded in 1886 by cigar factory owner Don Vicente Martinez Ybor, Ybor City quickly became a destination for immigrants from Cuba, Spain, Italy, Germany, Romania, and many other countries due to the unprecedented success of the cigar industry here. Within just a few decades of its founding, Ybor City was home to more than 150 cigar factories and was producing 500 million cigars annually. The cigar industry helped the community blossom with restaurants, shops, and other businesses that made Ybor City the vibrant hub of Tampa. Mutual aid societies built large, beautiful clubhouses to provide Ybor residents with not only a place for social gatherings, but also necessities like medical care, and banking services. The melding of foods, music, language, and architecture from Ybor's immigrants created an unusual yet fascinating mix that produced a culture that is uniquely Ybor City. The Ferlita family wanted to save part of their family history, but they also wanted to also be a larger part of saving Ybor's history. And so they talked uh, with the Ybor City Museum Society and they talked with the state the state was involved uh, heavily with actually refurbishing and bringing the building up to par to be a museum. After the Great Depression, cigar production in Ybor City dwindled. The community experienced several decades of decline. This culminated in the urban renewal project of the 1960s that forever changed the face of Ybor City. In swift reaction to the loss of so many historic buildings, many in Tampa rallied to save what they saw as the historic foundation of the city. In 1980, the iconic Ferlita Bakery became the Ybor City Museum State Park, dedicated to preserving and telling Ybor City's story. In 1990, Ybor City was given the distinguished honor of being named a National Historic Landmark District. Today, Ybor City is once again a vibrant community filled with unique shops, restaurants, and local businesses, most of which are housed in the beautifully restored streetscapes of this historically significant community. I think the Museum Society has had such a, a passion for preserving what we have that excites people and they want to volunteer. For 30 years, the Ybor City Museum Society has preserved, promoted, and celebrated the unique cultural heritage of Ybor City and supported the Ybor City Museum State Park. Some of our earliest programs included seasonal tea dances, a popular folk festival, the taste of Ybor City, and a holiday Noche Buena. These programs helped establish the society within the community as a group dedicated to Ybor City culture, both past and present. In 1986, the society undertook an ambitious project to relocate several 19th century homes to make them part of this museum complex. One home known as La Casita was decorated in turn of the century furnishings so that guests could see how cigar makers of old Ybor lived, and it's still a highlight for museum visitors today. In 2003, the Society acquired another five historic buildings that have been relocated to 19th Street. Now an eclectic mix of creative shops and cafes, they help recreate a historic streetscape right across from the museum. Over the years, the Society has developed a number of signature programs. One is our annual special exhibit. Since 1991, the Society has presented special exhibits on topics related to our community's ethnic immigrant groups, different faucets of the cigar industry, and the daily lives of the men and women of Ybor. The current exhibit, Baseball, Tampa's Love of the Game, celebrates over a century of baseball history in Tampa. Another signature program for the society is the very successful Cigar Heritage Festival. For 14 years, the festival has honored Tampa's cigar industry with food, music, and of course, cigars. 
The current Guinness World Record longest cigar was rolled during the 2009 festival, drawing international attention to Ybor City. The society is currently reimagining the festival and will relaunch the new Cigar Heritage Festival in the spring of 2015. The Legacy Awards are the society's longest running program. What began as a small award ceremony on Vicente Martinez Ybor's birthday has become an Ybor City tradition that celebrates the contributions that individuals and groups have made to Ybor City. Now in its 29th year, the annual Legacy Awards brunch has honored 150 community visionaries and leaders. As we move into our 30th year as an organization, the Society is on a path to new heights. On October 17th, we will open a new special exhibit entitled The Jewish Roots of Ybor City that will explore the ways in which the Jewish community shaped the Ybor City of yesterday and today. On November 15th, we'll host the Sakar Heritage Party in the Museum Garden to celebrate Ybor's rich cigar tradition. On March 6 of 2014, the Society will hold our third annual Buildings Alive Ybor City Architecture Tour. The same night, the Society will unveil a redesigned permanent exhibit at the museum that explores the immigrant communities of early Ybor City, how these groups created the diverse Ybor City we know today, and the unique mutual aid societies that still serve as anchors in our community. This year, the Society will also open what is undoubtedly its most ambitious project to date. In the spring of 2014, the Tampa Baseball Museum at the Al Lopez House will become Tampa's newest museum. Housed in the former home of baseball great Al Lopez, this museum will highlight Tampa's rich baseball history from Little League through to the major leagues. Already generating media buzz, the Tampa Baseball Museum is sure to draw new audiences of all ages to Ybor City. As you can see, the Ybor City Museum Society is embarking on an exciting future, and we thank you for all you have done to make us successful and for helping us celebrate our past. And now we invite you to join us as we continue to bring the past into the present. Congratulations to the Society being the first citizen support organization. Uh, congratulations for uh, this entity with its mission to preserve and promote and celebrate Ebor. I just want to give congratulations to the Ebor City uh, Museum Society. Uh, they have been the stalwart uh, protector of the culture of Ebor City, and I know they will do that for future years. God bless you all. First of all, I want to pay my tribute to those in the past, members of the Museum Society, because they plant the seed to what we have today. So personally from me, uh, I will say thank you because uh, you help us to have a better understanding and a good organization like we do have today. Congratulations to Ybor City Museum Society for the 30th anniversary. Thank you for everything you do. I think people are, are really interested in Ybor City and they're proud of it and uh, they like to bring people here and uh, that's, that's what makes a good city. Just want to congratulate the Ybor City Museum Society on 30 years of community efforts to protect and preserve, restore our history. I want to say that I hope that it continues on indefinitely uh, and your efforts are not going forgotten. We appreciate you.